A, A, B, B, and O. Those are the different types of blood types, generally speaking, right? Or at least we would think so. There's many more, but one of the most rarest forms of blood, for many different reasons, are only inhabited at this very moment by anywhere from 43 to 45 people around the world as of public record. But the thing about this is that they are disappearing rapidly and then either never returning at all or returning saying they've been abducted. Now, when I say kidnappings, I'm not speaking of you're thrown into the back of a van and you're taken away and then something goes on. No, no, no. I'm speaking of kidnappings where they cannot recall where they went. Instances where they remember seeing beings of vast arrays of golden light and big bright white light as well. And then remembering that they just kind of dozed off and then forgot everything. Similar to that of most UFO uh, abductions, generally speaking. Now, that's not what I want to get into more so as I do the actual blood itself and why they're being kidnapped. So let's jump right into it. So like I said at the very beginning, you have A, A, B, B, and O. So according to foxnews.com, when it comes to blood types, you may have one of the four, but those larger groups actually contain millions of different varieties. That's because, and guys, please listen very uh, carefully here. The surface of our blood cells are coated with antigens, up to 342 antigens, okay? This is where it gets really interesting. 1961, back in 1961, scientists stumbled upon a new blood type they thought impossible. A blood type called Rh null, meaning that it lacks all 61 antigens in the Rh system. This defied science as we knew it. And for many, many years, they couldn't explain what it was and how it came to be. They still, to this day, don't understand the events or don't know which events curated in order for this to happen with that being said what's extremely interesting about all this is that of the 45 people it's i've tried getting a hold of a few no comments nothing now fine i understand i'm not uh i'm not cnn i'm not fox news or what have you but at the same time why won't they want to speak i was told by one of them who asked to remain anonymous that they fear for their lives because of the reoccurring kidnappings that have been happening over the course of the last two years. Now, let's jump into what this means for people who do have it. And this is where it gets really interesting. So according to Gaia.com, and some of the actual people who have this blood who I've actually spoken to, they tend to generally have much higher than average IQs, lower body temperatures, something that is usually abnormal that we ourselves cannot live if we're not if we don't have a high enough temperature but these people have an abnormally low amount of body temperature <clears throat> but they have extremely high blood pressure with red or reddish hair an extra vertebrae sensitive vision and particular sensitivity to sunlight and this is the one that intrigues me the most believe it or not elevated intuition now before I go on and get into how they may in fact be direct ancestors of the, the Nephilims or the Watchers or the Fallen Angels directly from the Book of Enoch, before I get into that, I want to talk about the intuition aspect of it. And I say this because there is a deep connection between intuition, spirituality, and the magnetic frequencies, vibrations, as you guys have maybe heard me say many times, so I apologize for those who've heard this already. And science, at least publicly, has not been able to explain it, describe it, or what have you. However, intuition with people within this golden blood, based on certain tests done back in 1961, had proved that they naturally seem to be more correct when taking guesses. Now, you might say, okay, Dave, what kind of a study is that? What are you talking about here? Look, hundreds of tests were conducted in order to ensure that these people were not just getting coincidentally lucky, conducted by scientists back in the 60s, where they then said, and they put things in front of them and asked them to guess what they were, but they were covered up. And they found that intuition amongst people with the golden blood was at a rate of, and I quote, 18 times higher intuition than that of people with A, A, B, B, or O blood types. And that is phenomenal. Now, this may help further the theory 
that they are direct or indirect descendants or ancestors of the Nephilims, the Watchers, the Fallen Angels, what have you. Now, this directly ties in with the Book of Enoch, which I've spoken about before. Now, one thing to understand is that there are three books of Enoch. All three are considered non-canonical by the Vatican or the Catholic Church. What that means is not original not sourced, and not to be believed or taken seriously. Now, again, why they choose to, to, to remove those three books, I think from the, the original story of the Bible, or the original arch of the Bible, I think I can guess why. But, and I'm sure many of you can guess why too, because there's things in there they cannot explain nor defend without getting in trouble of revealing something. So with that being said, let's jump right into the most exciting part of this. Now, another theory according to Gaia.com, that falls in the more ethereal category is that the Nephilims of biblical lore are responsible for RH negative blood types. Now, this is where it gets good. In the book of Enoch, the Nephilim, also known as the Watchers, descend from the heavens, and we've established at this point the heavens obviously meaning the sky, right? And mate with humans, creating a human-angel type of hybrid. End quote for now. Honestly, guys, I'd probably go with the Nordics, to tell you the truth. Were they the Watchers or Fallen Angels? Was a certain faction of them considered to be the Watchers or Fallen Angels? Very possibly. And I say this, why? The Nordics, it's been pretty much established that the Nordics, according to many astronauts and all that, actually do not live in one big country the way that we do. So we can call humans living on earth colonies for example very large colonies and but we refer to them as countries or nations right they're organized think about that but on a much smaller scale these nordics are known to either have some type of agenda to push their form of spiritual uh, spiritual evolution or to be pure hearted some of them could be deceiving but either way the nordics are known to look like us have the ability to breed with us and have the ability to create children with the human nordic combination of hybrid now they operate in sort of a, depending which faction, a sort of fascist type of leader kind of group, which would make sense with the way that they're described or the way that these fallen angels are described in the book of Enoch because they come down in segmented groups. So they come from the heavens, the sky, with their ship in segmented groups of no more than 40 or 50 at a time. So what we're looking at here is extremely condensed groups of them which would make perfect sense because a handful of them, most certainly if the reproductive systems allowed it biologically, and assuming we may be descendants of these Nordics or of some generally coexisting race out there, have the ability to mate with them. Now, with that being said, this group of angels and their offspring, according to Gaia.com, were wiped out in the great biblical deluge though some were said to have survived, leaving the RH negative blood distinction, end quote. This is where it gets interesting because we all know that the book of Enoch, Enoch was allegedly the great grandfather of Noah. Noah being the same Noah that built the ark, supposedly. The great flood was allegedly caused by the beings from above and the, remain, the remaining watchers or fallen angels that remained with Noah, according to the book of Enoch, were ones that were disbanded from their leader. Okay, I'm going to break this down super, uh, super delicately and precisely. The fallen leader, uh, sorry, the fallen angels or the watchers may in fact be Nordic aliens that mated with humans and for some reason or another, because of their generally fascist dictating type style between their different factions, Maybe certain superior leaders within certain factions were upset about this or did not agree with this. So they disbanded and dismembered or um, excommunicated certain Nordics from their groups, therefore abandoning them or leaving them here on earth to remain with their partners with whomever woman or male they mated with. Now, I know how ridiculous that sounds, but you, you guys just got to hear me out here because... This may in fact come full circle in a way that down the road, we will never be able to fully fathom, but we'll have a better understanding of progression with this proposal. So, 
when we take a step back and we look at it and we go back to modern day, last couple of years, pe- these kind of people have, are being kidnapped. Could be for a handful of reasons. Kidnappings, we don't know what kind. They could be kidnappings of that of UFOs. But when you say UFOs, are you talking military UFOs that were reverse engineered from the original UFO crashes? Or are we talking actual ET beings capturing these people, studying their blood, studying their genes, trying to figure out where along the line, which they probably have the technology to do, where along the line this breeding or interbreeding happened and report it back to their home or base or whatever it is. And they've been known to do that, particularly the greys. And allegedly, some of these greys are biological uh, probes. And that's a very well-known theory or proposal that these greys work on behalf of some of the Nordic factions. And so what happens here is that they work as sort of our version of like the Mars rover, biological robots. They come, study people, abduct them with golden blood. But it seems like because the people that are being abducted with the golden blood are not returning, it seems like they're not being kidnapped to just have some of their genes and DNA harvested, but they're being, in some cases, permanently kidnapped and taken back to their planet for God knows what. But that's how rare this blood type is. Now, it's one thing to say, oh, it's a rare blood type. And then that's it. But it's another thing when people are disappearing with this type of blood type, given that there's only there's less than 50 of them in the world that we know of, at least on public record, maybe more have been concealed. That The fact that this ties in directly with the Book of Enoch, the descriptions of the Book of Enoch may provide some insight too regarding the fallen angels, which may be the Nordics left behind. And so we have a whole slew of evidence to, to look at here and put together and assemble because essentially what we're seeing here is that we're seeing interbreeding that, uh, again, if you guys subscribe to such proposals, could in fact be a legitimate theory. And the fact that the Vatican doesn't recognize the Book of Enoch, that never sat well with me to tell you guys the truth. And I'm sure it doesn't sit well with any of you guys either. But again, It all comes down to dismissal, cover up, and then what do they do at the end? Modern, human-made psychological warfare and predictive programming that would allow them to convince the rest of society and the world that this golden blood thing is a bunch of BS. Very simple. It's not that hard to do when you have the resources, the money, and the time, and the connections So people like myself and maybe some of you watching who subscribe to this ideology would be viewed as crazy, wacko, what have you. But those same people that believe in that in in some cases that call you and I crazy, that believe in uh, those are the same people that believe in the Catholic Bible word for word. And I'm not trying to disrespect them. All I'm saying is they believe in the Bible. But they don't believe in the book of Enoch. Why? Because the Vatican told them that it's not part of the original Bible. And this is part of the limited thinking that the Vatican and world governments have successfully been able to do. It's, it's right in plain sight. It's hiding right there. It's not, it's not that hard to see. And so when we look at this, we can't help but think, what are the possibilities that this golden blood being so rare also contains the, 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 the fact that the scientists cannot explain the lineage of this? scientists all around the world publicly again according to bbc and so many different uh <clears throat> sources excuse me are all saying very simply we don't know when in what point in time this occurred and that's the thing that i love but also hate about science and i'm not trying to blame it on any scientist all i'm saying is that and i'm not trying to say that, that science is useless not even close but ironically science in 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 today's modern public forum can explain so many things, but it gets to a point where if you keep asking, okay, how did that happen? How did that happen? How did that happen? The original source, scientists cannot explain. I mean, for Christ's sake, they they don't know what 95% of the universe is made up of. And I'm not trying to shit on them, not at all. I'm just trying to say that when you break it down layer by layer and you unpeel all of the layers of the onion, so to speak, guess what happens? They will tell you, you know what? Sorry, man, or sorry, uh, whoever. I, I, I just, this is just the way it is. And that's exactly what scientists will tell you if you keep peeling back the layers of this metaphorical uh, onion when you keep saying, how did this happen? How did that happen? How did that? Over and over and over again. And that's fine. 
But we have to come to a point where we have to trust some of what, of what history is trying to tell us through the leakages of truth and combine that with everything else that we've learned. I mean, for the, for the, the evidence is, is substantial. I would dare to say that the people who have, the elites who have covered this up for so long are laughing at the world for thinking that we think it's crazy, generally. Okay, so please let me know what you guys think. It, it, this type of blood is extremely interesting. I wish I had more information on it. There is a little more information on it on the scientific level, but it, that particular information doesn't exactly re reveal anything that I found to be worthy uh, with the, within this episode. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.